we're now recording. I always record to the cloud so that now we're we're really mamish Salbin Ashamayim. If I ever get to replay it. Anyway, welcome to the uh, regular the team of Shalom Cheer. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about uh, a very important topic from this week's Parsha. And we're going to talk about how we can be better, how we can improve ourselves, how we can be holy. <laughs> hmm? Big sigh. Big sigh. <laughs> For the record, Amy sighed. What does that sigh mean? <laughs> Trying to be better. Not an easy task, but we're working on it. So this Parsha is Mishpatim. And Parsha Mishpatim uh, follows uh, Parsha of Yitro, where we had the, the giving of the Asera Tadibro to Ten Commandments. Uh, we're not going to talk about it tonight, but it's interesting. Mishpatim starts with, with a Jewish slave uh, and the rules of a Jewish slave. Uh, and how does one become a Jewish slave? By stealing. It doesn't have money to pay it back, and then he's sold into slavery. And you have to wonder. How do we fall so far from Parsha Yitra, where we're receiving the Torah, where we're at the highest level, and all of a sudden we're stealing? That's a, that's a question that I think all of us have to deal with in our lives in various situations. How do we reach a high level and then all of a sudden fall from it? So uh, we're not going to discuss that, except that was just an interesting introduction. We're going to discuss how we achieve a level of holiness. Because as the Tivo Chalm says, the, the Parsha says, Anche Kodesh Tiedoli, you shall be a holy people to me. Anche Kodesh Tiedoli, Isam Michelt, it says in Michelt, Rabbi Shmuel Omer, Rabbi Shmuel says, Kishatem Kadoshim, what happens when you're holy? When you're holy, Hariatem Shali, you are mine. God says to Bnei Israel, the people of Israel, if you are holy, then you are my people. And it, it seems like an extra uh, extra word, the word li to me. And you shall be holy. So what does the li come to teach us? It could have said, it could simply have said, Could simply have said that uh, you will be holy, holy people, without the Lee. Okay, before Anche Kodesh, therefore we explain Anche Kodesh, the people of holiness. In Tiu Anche Kodesh, if you will be holy people, then Tiu Lee, you will be mine. Az Tiu Shali, then you'll be mine. Tiu the Vuki Bashem is what does it mean? You'll be mine. You know, we're always trying. Yeah, every time we, you know, we do a mitzvah, we make a bracha on something. What's the purpose of any mitzvah that we do? The purpose of any mitzvah is to come closer to Hashem. You know, we say in the, in the bracha of a mitzvah, Asher Kiddushon Mitzvosav Itzivanu, who has made us holy and commanded us. So the aspect of doing a mitzvah, the aspect of making a, a bracha before you eat something, Leads you to a level of holiness. So, what 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 this is telling us is that to you, Devuki Hashem, we want you to be holy people, so you'll be connected. You'll cleave to God. Uh, and we have to understand. We should understand what what it, what it meant. Hashem said before we received the Torah, what did he say? He said, You shall be Li, again, that word Li to me, uh, a, a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. It seems that this word Li again seems extra. It should have been enough to say, You'll be uh, a holy people and a, and a, uh, 
That's okay. A key of a priest and a holy and a holy people. Well, our kavona, the intent is atem tiu li. Uh, you will be to me. Im ritzonchem liot shali. If you want to be mine, aleichem liot mamleches kohani begoy kadosh. What are the steps that you need to do to to do that? You have to be a kingdom of priests and a, and a holy nation. Now, when we talk about Kohanim, we talk about priests. We're normally talking about, you know, that that part of the the three divisions in in, in, in Israel, Kohen Levi Israel. But in a more general, a more in a broader sense, we're all Kohanim, because what's the job of a Kohen? The job of a Kohen is, uh, first of all, to come closer to Hashem. The job of a coin is to spread Torah. The job of a coin is to reach a level of closeness to Hashem. These are things that all of us have to do. We have to be Kohanim to the rest of the world. And a holy nation goes with it. Goes with it. If you do that, then usually you'll be mine. There's many, many interpretations when it says uh, a kingdom of, of priests. Rashi Mefarish and uh, Rashi says Kohanim Sharim. Uh, the Kohanim serve. What does that mean? That Hashem chose the people of Israel to be the chosen people. And he said to them, You will be a kingdom of priests. The, the the choicest of all peoples, Anche Rome Hamala, a person who's on a higher level, You won't have any any connection to those things that are uh, less than less than you should be paying attention to. Uh, you'll have you'll be able to pay attention to the holy things. Uh, let me just change this this page and see if I can do it right. Yes, I think so. Um, sorry. Oh, right. Okay, continue. Uh, Vagoy Kadosh. Vagoy Kadosh. It says, Al Kadusha, he's Haro Yisrael, Pamim Rabos Biot. God commands us about this, this concept of holiness many, many times. Kosh Mutsin in the Torah, Harbe Sivuim Al Kadushim to you, Kadoshim to you. Many commandments, you shall be holy. He's Kadish Tem, you shall be holy, be some Kadoshim. Then you will be holy. The Parsha is Kadoshim, Bilvad, and the Kadoshim alone. Then Rogimel, Azharon, Al Kadush. There's three different warnings said about holiness. Shevas Harizelo, Omar Al Mitzvos, Shechayven, Meforish, Batora, El Kadish, Atzuchem, Mubamutra, Lacha. This is not. This kind of warning are not given with other mitzvahs, except this one to teach us that you have to be holy with those things that are permitted to you. Since that is such an important concept, the Torah warns us on this many times. Indian Kedusha, uh, the aspect of, of holiness, this is a condition that God made with the children of Israel. Truly, true, truly, you shall be mine. How will you be mine when you are this this kingdom of priests and a holy nation, the, the choice of the people? Then, when you reach that level, uh, then you are mine. Eitzel Yehudi Akadosha, between a holy Jew, he tenai la etzem mahus hayudis. This is a a condition for the very existence of a Jew. 
שהיא לפי ערך המהות של קדושה שיש בו. Words, what is the level of holiness that you could reach? It's dependent on your own particular level. Everybody has a different level that they can ascribe to and, and reach. Uh, obviously, it's better to ascribe to a, a higher level than a lower level. Even if you don't reach the higher level, don't worry about it. You're on the road. We find, we find, we find the following with these many warnings. Because I, the Lord your God, are holy. Oz, therefore, I am therefore your God. Come over, Parsha Shemini, it says, Shinemar, the Parsha says, I am therefore your God. Come over, the Parsha says, I am therefore your God. I am the Lord your God, Vizkadishtem. You shall make yourself holy, Vizim Kadoshim. You shall be holy, Ki Kadoshani, Bagomir. You shall be holy because I am, I am holy. There's when we say that the world was created with Salam Elohim in the, in the image of God. Well, God doesn't have an image. Uh, God is uh, ethereal. God doesn't exist in human form. What does it mean, the image of God? It means Salam Elohim means to try to emulate the qualities of God. Just as God is merciful, you too should be merciful. Just as God uh, loves every human being, you too should love. Just as God uh, detests uh, things that are contrary to his will, so too we should try to live our lives in a way that we would test that. This is God is holy. So too we should be holy. That, that's what it says here. Everybody has their own particular uh, level. After each commandment to be holy, it says, because I am the Lord your God, or I am, uh, I am uh, the one and only God. This is the reason, it seems, for the, for the uh, commandment of Kadoshim to you that you shall be, uh, you shall be holy. What's the main, the main purpose of Torah and serving God? As I did a moment ago, we serve God, we do mitzvahs, we make brachas, we do all these things, so we can come closer to Hashem. The whole Taryag mitzvahs, all 613 commandments, came with Taryag eating. These are like 600 uh, bits of advice, 600 uh, counselings that Hashem is giving us. Uh, all of the commandments are, are, are giving us the ability to, to fulfill uh, the, the the mitzvah, and by fulfilling that mitzvah, by fulfilling the commandment, you are then cleaving to God. This, this explains why so many sentences uh, are written about holiness. The whole aspect of being, of cleaving to Hashem, is dependent on the quality of holiness. Uh, I am holy, I am, I am the Lord your God who is holy. If you want to connect to me, you want to get closer to me, you can't do that. Unless you yourself, improve yourself, make yourself holy. Welcome, Akher, Hibina, we brought to Asher Kosovo Sefer Shomer Amunim, Hakadmon. As it says in the in the book of Shomer Amunim, it talks about people who who observe uh, who, who observe Torah, but in a hidden hidden manner. It never leaves their mouth. You know, whatever they're doing, they 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 they're constantly going over Torah. Torah is constantly a part of their a part of their life. 
Pasuk Vasisha Yashva Tove Hashem. The Torah commands us, you shall do Yashva Tove, that which is upright and good in the eyes of Hashem. That's an interesting mitzvah because that particular mitzvah doesn't tell us what that means. Uh, but then, Pasuk Kadoshi Tio, the sentence of you should be holy. Shalachar called Tari the mitzvah of Shemur Bator after all the 613 commandments that are mentioned in the Torah. Nemer od shteip suki melu. These two sentences, additional sentences are said. You shall do what is upright and good, and then you shall, you shall be holy. Those two sentences, these include things that God did not give us specific details of, of how to fulfill these commands. When you do what is good uh, and upright in the eyes of Hashem, what does that mean? To do what is tov and yonsher is to do those things that are befitting between yourself and your fellow human being. Uh, does it mean to hate somebody? That's not exactly befitting. Does it mean to show chesed to somebody? That is definitely befitting. Uh, it talks about your relationship between uh, a person and another person. You can't just fulfill what the commandment says. You don't fulfill Atov HaYashur by just doing what the Torah says to do or not to do. If, if the Torah wanted only you to do the, you know, to be a robot and do these commandments or stay, stay away from doing these negative commandments, there would have been no reason to add this extra pasuk, you shall do what is upright and good. Asisa Atov HaYashur. HaYashur V'Atov. It means that you've got to, uh, you got to go beyond that. You have to go over and above the law, beyond the law, beyond what you would expect, uh, even though this isn't commanded specifically. It's not commanded specifically how you shall deal with your, your fellow human being, just in generalities. But go over and above and beyond that. When we talk about Lifni Mishor Sadin in terms of, of, of doing mitzvot, in terms of halacha, we're basically talking about uh, doing things in a superb manner, of going beyond what the letter of the law requires. But here, in terms of doing chesed to other people, kindness to other people, in terms of your relationship with your other people, uh, you got to go over and above what you would expect. For Kedoshim to you and the, the, the commandment, you should be holy. As we've said many times in the people of Shalom, we brought it many times, you have to make yourself holy with that which is permitted to you. You have to make yourself holy with those things that are not necessarily commanded in the Torah. These two things, if a Jew wants to raise himself up to a higher level in the service of God and become closer to Hashem, you have to grab hold of these things. These two things, Vasita Tova Hayasher and Kadoshim Tiyu, those are the two things that are necessary to bring you closer to Hashem. As Chazal tells us, if, if, uh, if you make people happy, if people are, are are satisfied with the way you're behaving, if they're if they're happy with the way you behave, then God is also happy with what you're doing. We know what we've said a number of times, the uh, as it says in the film, Hashem Tzilcha, God is your shadow, as the Baal Shem Tov says, Hashem mirrors whatever you do. So if you do chesed to others, Hashem is going to do chesed to you. Uh, that's what Hashem wants from you. So, what's the connection between one and the other? 
ויחסוך לו מדרגו כל גמור, שרוח עמוק עמוק נוחה עמנו מזה, שרוח הבריאות נוחה עמנו. How, how is it, how does it, how do you merit that uh, just because you're doing what, what people like you to do, obviously within the bounds of, of law, we're talking about chesed and, and, and things like that, uh, and people like it, uh, then why does that bring Hashem to like it? Because in doing that, you're fulfilling the mitzvah of doing what is upright and just and good in the name of Hashem. Through that, that makes you closer to Hashem, brings you closer to Hashem. That's what it means. That's what it means that, that uh, God will be happy with what you're doing. We talked about the the Selam Elohim the, the likeness of God. God is, the, in fact, the, the source of, and, the, and the main part of Hayashar Vatov, doing what is, what is uh, upright and what is good. Ayyadeh Zeh, Magiyah Lios Dov Hashem. I said that. Sorry. Rishul Chilkavi Vazeh, whoever hope, believes in this, Shein Ruach Habrios if a person uh, if a person believes that if if uh, people are not satisfied, not happy with how you're treating other human beings, then you, you if you if you believe that that you won't be able to reach the level of getting close to Hashem. Similarly, the mitzvah of you shall be holy. Levia Yehudi Lebekos Hashem brings you to cleaving to Hashem, to closer to Hashem. Yikarosh Ani Hashem Elokeh, because I am the Lord your God, holy, the whole I am holy, I am God, the Lord your God. Kol Melachin Rak Haydei Zeh Kedoshim Tiu Tagiel Liyos Tevuki Hashem Isparach. Only through Kedoshim Tiu can you reach this level of of connecting to Hashem, closeness to Hashem. Zemash Kosim Hashom Ramunim. This is what it's written in the Shom Ramunim. If you want to come closer, get yourself higher to the level of Hashem, you have to fulfill these two sentences. There's talking about things that aren't specifically commanded to you. Included in these two things, Kadoshim to you, be holy. And Asisa Yashava Tov, do what is upright and good, are included in them are many, many different commandments. Uh, who command the command of of Haiti Bani Hashem, as it says, to do good in the eyes of Hashem. Everything that you do, Yishkol Haiti Bani Hashem, you should weigh it to see if this is appropriate. In the eyes of God. In other words, you have to realize that as human beings, we, we have constantly to, to be, can be aware of what we're doing, to be aware, aware of uh, how our actions are affecting other people, how our, fact, our actions are affecting our relationship with Hashem. It, it, it needs an awareness. You can't just do things blindness. You can't be like a, uh, a, a person who's stumbling in the darkness. God has given us these, these commandments with lights. And we have to always weigh, uh, think about, is what I'm doing, uh, is that in the rut zone of Hashem? Hudi haros lehegi elios tevok v'ashem olav lishkol es kol masav upalasav heitiv v'ayin Hashem. You have to weigh all of your things. Ha'idei mida zu, shal kedusha, through this level of holiness, Magia Yehudi Levekos Bashem, you reach the level of cleaving to Hashem. Kashatim Kadoshim Atem Shalim, because when you are holy, then you will be mine, says God. Umashbot has Harad Harbe Harbos Shakarish Bokham Mazir Sitral Kadusha. Many times that, that God is warning us on holiness. Who Kamama Mora Sabakarish Mislodim Shakhsalim Al Posik, Bosrani Bini Al Timas, he says. This uh, ethical teaching that I'm that 
uh, that Hashem is teaching you, uh, my children don't uh, degrade it. Musar Hashem, the ethical teachings of Hashem. Hamusar Hashem is Omer Lihudihu. What is this ethical teaching that Hashem gives to the Jew? Bani, my children, Hari Bnei Ata, you are Hari Bnei Ata Ben Amelech. You are the children of the King. Atimas, don't degrade that degrade that status. Atimus Aswach Abedivrei Miush Einam Yaim Leben Amelech. Don't do things that aren't fitting for the son or a daughter of a king. Yesh Devorim. There are things Shulagabe Adam Pashut Einu Nachshem Laveira. Many, many times people think, well, you know, this is not, this is not an Aveira. I'm not doing a sin. Nowhere in the Torah says I can't do this, right? But if you're the, the, if you're the prince or the princess, you're the son of the king of the world, the daughter of the king of the world, you got to think a little bit differently. You got to think, is this befitting my status? This is what Hashem said to the Jew. You will, you are a Son of a king, don't degrade yourself with that which is the opposite of holiness. The things that keep you far from God, they're not they are not fitting for the son of a king. And this, this ethical teaching is said to every Jew, uh, however, wherever he is, whatever, whatever situation he is. The first thing that, that Hashem said to, to, to Moshe to say to Paro was, B'ni b'chori Yisrael, my children, my chosen, my firstborn Israel. Israel, When was that said that you were my, my chosen, my firstborn? When they were totally enmeshed in the 49th level of impurity. And in this in this uh, situation where they were in the house of slaves. Nonetheless, no, whatever situation you're in, even if you're in abject slavery, as we were in Egypt, never forget that you're the child of the king. And remember that teaching from a God, from, from God all the time, the ethical teaching of God, that you are you are my my children, don't degrade your status. Therefore, the Torah warned us about many times. About holiness, is kadash to be kadoshim. He who did tzarech liot mivchar kadoshim. A Jew has to be the, the choicest, the best of people. Barach mashik mekarev al Hashem yisborach shayich elav, and only by coming close to God, that is that is what's that's what's befitting you. B'chol mash barchiku b'mishoresh hulo laveira. Everything that keeps you farther away from your roots of being the, the child of a king, uh, that that to you is the equivalent of a sin, even though it's not not counted the Torah as a sin. It's it's keeping you far from God. But Tom, lama lo perish tarsh kosh inyan hakadosha malas or malas. So the question is God, why? And the people show him ask, okay. Why didn't Hate, if Hashem wants us to be holy, why didn't He give us a little little guidance, uh, telling us what we should do and should not do? Why? Because the aspect of holiness, from the very beginning, it differs from each person. It depends on which level you can reach. We don't have to be all the same level. The key. You know, when you're walking, when you're on a ladder, uh, the key to being on a ladder is to keep moving up. Don't stand still. Don't go down. Uh, and we're at different levels of this ladder, with different, different rungs. So Hashem wants us to be holy as, as to what our abilities enable us to do. Uh, yes, we have the ability to become like, uh, like a Moshe Rabbeinu, like a Miriam Hanaviyah, 
We have the ability to be that. But don't worry, if you don't make it there, you'll be a little lower. It's okay. God loves you anyway, as long as you recognize your status in this world. Depends on how, how much do you personally feel that you're the child of a king. And I, I said, we're going to talk about you know, how you can better yourself. So what this is saying is you better yourself by recognizing who you are. By recognizing that you're, you're a special person as a Jew. You have a special duty. Not just like any other person. doesn't mean to gloat over anybody, God forbid. What it means is it says the Jew has to be an orlegoim, has to be a light to the nation. We have to demonstrate by our actions uh, of kindness that will then bring God's presence into the world. It says, further in the Mechilta, it says, Kishatem Kadoshim Harimatem Shuli. It, it says this is a, this is the condition as to the the worth the, the the value of the holiness of each person. Uh, that's um, whatever that whatever the the level is, you will be zocha to be mine. You'll be you'll merit to be to mine. Says God. As I said before, God gives to a Jew measure for measure. If, God, if you're only making yourself holy by, by, <coughs> by staying away from those things that are pro prohibited to you, through Machma Sayyira, that's something fear. you're afraid of, of punishment. So, okay, it's good. God gives you gives you a reward also with with uh, with fear. When you when you are making yourself holy with, with everything that is uh, is permitted to you, when you're doing that out of love, your whole your whole analysis of what you're doing is the, the constant questioning is what I'm doing is that uh, will that be pleasing to God or not and you stay away from everything that is that makes you far away from God and you do what, is, what brings you closer to God Measure for measure, God will reward you. It will be His. Shatim kadosh harim atim. Ki kadosh kadosh has from mutar makayim yehudi b'toch hahava lo miira. When you are making yourself holy with those things that are permissible to you, then you are showing your love of God, not just the fear of God. You know, there's two ways of serving God. Uh, you know, we, we say in the morning, Rishis chacham yiras Hashem. The first part of wisdom is is fear of God. Yes, but fear of God is a lesser level than love of God. Love, love of God is a higher level. And fear of God leads you, leads you to love of God. You'll be close to Hashem. It's written in the Sila Shishorim, the aspect of holiness. It's, 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 it's above nature. You're going above nature. You're going out of yourself to, but by by making yourself holy with that is permit with that which is permitted, you're uh, you're, you're bringing you're bringing holiness into all of your actions. So how do you do this? How do you reach that level? So what he says. First, ask thing you have to do is you got to do your thing. You got to do as much as you can do. And then, don't worry. You're not going to be stuck if you're really trying hard, really trying to do it. So for Matana, God will give you a present. God will give you the present of being able to reach a level. 
That's like Gadosh Baruch Hu Sof, that's like Gadusha, but Torah, Torah, but Torah is my Torah. If you're doing as much as you can do, then God will do the rest. Uh, as, as it says before, I'm going to retire. If somebody wants to purify themselves, uh, Messiah most of God will help them. The key is you can't sit back and not do your thing. You got to do your thing. You got to do your ishtadlut. You got to put your, your efforts into it. All right. If you uh, make yourself holy a little bit, then God will make you holy a lot. God will give you that higher level. This is what it means. If you will make yourself holy. If you do your Put your two cents in. You do your work to make yourself holy. The end will be that you will receive it as a, as a present and you will be holy. Behind you. Whoops. Sorry, I went too far. My little fish, Kashashi Yehudi. Jose Stadlus, the Jew does his his bit. The Saddle is Kadish, Haria Megalabaza, Abel Hashem is Baruch. The love for Hashem is revealed by doing what you're doing. Shane Rhodes. You don't want to do anything that's against God. Not only are those things that God has prohibited, in that's the key. Not just, you can't, you can't say, you know, I'm doing all the mitzvahs, I'm staying away from all the loves, do the, not the negative commandments. Uh, is a higher level. You know, that, that's, you're expected to do that. What makes you uh, what makes you holy and getting close to Hashem, getting closer, you know, to cleave to Hashem, is the concept of of going up beyond and and thinking about every moment. Is this a ritual of Hashem? Uh, I'm, I'm going to skip here a little bit because uh, it's getting late. I'd like to try to finish in a reasonable time. One minute. So we'll go here. Or this paragraph here. It says, You shall take for me Truma. This is what else you have to ask. The table, Here again, you got the word Li, extra word to me. Rashi Perish, Li, Lishmi, for my name. All the mitzvahs are supposed to be for the sake of heaven. Why with Truma, the, the portion that you give to the to the base of Migdash, the portion that you give to the Kohen, uh, why does it say Li? Perish Because the Posse there says, you shall take from me Truma, a gift for the Kohen, for the base of Migdash, from everything that everybody at Yeshua Veno Liba. Where his, where his heart desires. That's the key. It goes according to the value of your, your desire in your heart to, to give something to the base of Middash. Give, to, give, to give tzedakah. You can give tzedakah uh, grudgingly. Oh, you know, here comes a, here comes somebody else to my house to take more money from me. Or here comes somebody else to somebody in my house to get money and giving me the opportunity to do a mitzvah. In both cases, you're giving tzedakah counts as a mitzvah. But in the one case, you're making, you're, you're doing with the divat libo, the holy wholeness of your heart. Um, and, and that's what raises you to a higher level. 
Mm. A little bit. Okay, so he says here, uh, the fi harata liba, by the, the awakening of your heart, chashkia, as, as you're giving this, this gift, you're making you make it as if it's one of the holy vessels in the holy temple. Your intentions can do that. That's a continuation of the uh, of raising the, the chosen people. God wants a dwelling, dwelling place here. And he wants a, a, he's chosen a place to dwell in. A place to, to where the presence of God is apparent to, to Israel, to, to all Bnei Israel. Therefore it says, take to me. Shim halakichoti. May eight. Isha shayar ben alibo. If it comes from the, the holiness of the holiness of your heart, mashkiyu es alibo binti binti also your your heart is is totally willing to give. As a kares boch meishiv al zeh baharatem bahariatemli. He answers, you are you are on my mountain. Mashu shikas bishon is is shchina. The presence of God appears in Israel. We also know, I don't think it says it here, but we know that uh, with regard to the Mikdash, it says, Basali Mikdash was Shukhanti Basokham. Make for yourself a sanctuary and I will dwell in you. Uh, not in it, not in a physical building, in each and every one of us. Each and every one of us have to look at ourselves as a Mikdash. And as a Mikdash, this is a place where we have Hashem Shekhina. We have the presence of God. So how do we increase the presence of God in this base of Mignesh Ma'at within each of us? We increase the presence of God by reaching a level of Kedusha, by taking these messages that he's given. Sisat Yashur Tob, do what is good and, and kind, and Kedoshim to you be holy, and then you'll reach a place where you'll be able to bring God, Mamash, into your hearts. Uh, I'm going to stop there with just one Quick story I've said before. Uh, Ramosha Feinstein, all of a sudden, once went into a beginning Gabora class. Uh, it was the beginning, Gabora, the beginning, beginning study of Talmud with young kids. He used to start with Masechet Bava Metzia. And he asked the question, he says, why do we begin this teaching little kids Torah by starting in the Talmud Bava Metzia? What's Bava Metzia about? Bava Metzia deals with you're dealing how you deal with your fellow human being. If you find something, two people see something, whose is it? Somebody says, this is mine, this is mine. What do they do? How do you resolve disputes? Uh, uh, what are your obligations in finding a lost object? You have to announce it. How often, how long you have to announce it? You have to take care of it if you pick it up to return it. Uh, you have to protect it from depreciation. If it's an animal, you have to feed it so you can find the owner. All these things are discussed in Bab Metzia and many more. Deals, deals in civil laws, deals between the man and his fellow human being. And the, and the Moshe Feinstein said, you cannot have a relationship between man and God until you have a relationship in Adam Lechavero, a relationship between one human being and another human being. I thank you for listening and I'll take any questions uh, before I sign off. Okay. No questions. I'm signing off. Thank you. Thank you, Nate. You're, you're very Thank welcome. You. Have a wonderful. Oh, 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 listen, next week, uh, next week, no sheer. Because no God willing, uh, uh, we'll be at the wedding of our daughter, Joni. Mazel 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 Thank you. Uh, so we hope to see you there on Zoom. I think I sent everybody Zoom links. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, All right. It's okay. a, a, Zoom, a, a Zoom wedding. All right. Very exciting.
Okay. It's extremely Mazel. exciting. Okay. Mazel Thank tov. You. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov.